All right, good morning, fellas. Today we are up here in the good old northeast mountains of Washington. Basically here to check my trail cams, or check our trail cams. We are on the way to check some, check some of David's trail cams. My trail cams are quite a long ways from here. Yeah, I think he has one somewhere over here, one on this ridge over here, and then three somewhere else. This is a new hunting ground for me, but this is where they came up and shot a bunch of whitetails last year at late season. When they came up here, saw two elk, saw a bunch of bears. Like, look at that. Clearly, there's animals here. And I just want to show you guys. This looks money. Just scouting new areas. Look, you can like, just like glass that little ridge over there. Looks perfect. So yeah, we're just going to do some trail cam scouting, trail cam checking. Basically preparing for the big day. So we'll see if we get any good pictures. Or if not, then hopefully we see some, some kind of wildlife. Alright, here's trail cam number one. This is where David put his first, or his first trail cam. I believe there's one on this ridge over here. And it's only like 8.56 and it's already like burning hot. So this is an open field. This is where Josh, you guys know Josh. Josh shot his spike down here. And when we were coming up here, we saw a bunch of like moose and elk and deer tracks. So even a bear track. So David probably got something, but David put it right at the edge. So you guys can see here's forest and this side is just open. So that's just thick stuff. So hopefully we got him, we captured him going into the brush and out of the brush. So we'll mm -hmm. see. No way. What do you mean broke? SD card? Oh, yeah, it might be the SD card. That's a nice bug. Mm -hmm. Like a 110. Oh. Enough to be a movement. Tons of whitetails. Decent bug. The same bug. I think that might be the same bug. Dude, that's a nice one, dude. Yeah. Alright, so we just got done checking David's trail cam. Got a bunch of deer, a bunch of whitetails, that's basically about it, and got a bunch of cows, like moo cows. We're off to check trail cam number two, which I believe is somewhere over here. Not exactly sure, but trail cam number one, few nice whitetail bucks, one nice buck actually, and other than that, that's about it, so we're gonna go to trail cam number two. Oh, right there, that's a buck. No, we go. Oh, I thought that was a buck. I don't know if you guys could see it. It was literally standing right there. That was probably a doe we got on camera, but... Yeah, tons of deer here though. This is a good spot. Alright, we are just about to make it up to the trail cam. Second trail cam, that is. It is so hot. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a bunch of smoke in the air. It's been a trend for the past couple of years up here in Washington where... I guess the Pacific Northwest in general where... Every August, there's always got to be a forest fire, or just a fire somewhere, and it just hazes up everywhere. Did you really leave your trail cam like that? Alright, so we are still just checking the second trail cam. We got, a, we got our first elk, we got a bear, but that bear is like just totally screwing with the camera, it's moving the camera everywhere, so, so I think that's all we got. Oh, we got a white tail too. So we got a cow, cow elk right here and that bear and last time when Tim and David came and set up the trail cam they saw a bear just over this ridge right here so maybe it's the same bear dude it is so hot so stinking hot so um I think for this spot that's the two trail cams we gotta go back to the truck and then gotta drive somewhere else to go check the next one so that's the trail cam we're taking this is the bear's present before he left some people ask for some tips for hunting bears during the fall Number one tip for hunting northeastern Washington and a lot of other places, find the huckleberries, find the bears. That's the number one rule we follow. Sure, you don't have to always follow huckleberries, but that's a good way to start. Tons of huckleberries up here. Seems like the bears are eating some. See, this thing has nothing. Off to trail cam number three. So that grouse was on this road right here. 
or this little trail. A lot of times when it's hot like this and you want to do some grouse hunting, a good place to find them is in a cool area. And cool area is a little stream like this and it's just shaded. So that was a, we just bumped one and then I turned off the camera, a baby one flew in there. They were on this little road right here. You guys can see that's a stream down there. Right here it's definitely a lot cooler. Look at that water. I want to take a swim right now. Made it. That's a ooh, look how he's so sassy. Right? He's like, ooh. he's mocking us, man. Because I'll take on your truck, bro. Boy. It's <laughs> awesome. I love doing this, man. Just being up here. Yep, same here. I miss it. Here's some waters. I need about four. Oh, wow. Alright guys, so we are at the truck. David went down this thing because he has another trail cam over there. So Tim and I, we're actually just going to cook. And basically by the time he gets back, his should be ready. So this is what we are eating today. This is a mountain house. Um, I'm eating a chicken fajita bowl. So basically the purpose of what we're doing today is we just want to test these out. Because, uh, you know, when you try new food, you got to test out whether your stomach actually likes it or not. Because... You don't want to go out in the mountains hunting, eat this, and then have like a really bad stomach ache or start puking everywhere. So I'm going to test out here and uh, we'll see what David reports with the trail cam. All right, put that on top. There's fire, right? Yeah, a little bit. So you have to stir it yes, before you can eat it. And then you stir it and then you let it, uh, you close it and just let it sit. Just put it on top. All right, so that's the first one, and then we're just gonna continue to do it for the rest. All right, so that is my chicken fajita, and this is Tim's uh, Italian pepper steak. It's chicken fajita, how does that taste? Hot. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot, dude. Remember, it's boiling water, man. Pretty good? Mmm. Ooh, that was bomb, man. Hey, it's pretty good, though. Dude, it is bomb, dude. I'm not complaining, man. This is really good. It just tastes like a... Those canned foods that you buy at the store, though. Mm -hmm. And David's here. David's perfect timing, dude. Mm. All right, so we are actually gonna head home now because um, today's supposed to be 102 degrees, which is insanely hot. So nobody's wanna nobody wants to hike during this temperature. So uh, we're gonna go home, and basically, I will see you guys when I actually come back and check my trail cams. Alright, for you guys it's probably been like literally a couple seconds. For me it's been like five days. Today's August 13th. My brother and I, we are running up, not running up, but hiking up to go and check my trail cams that I set up uh, a little over a month ago. And we are about halfway. So yeah, got some new batteries just in case my trail cams are dead for some reason. Got some new SD cards so that I can replace the SD cards. Take these ones over here home. I can look through the footage, or not the footage, the photos. We'll see if we get anything. When we were driving up here, we saw a black bear and saw a couple of turkeys. Hopefully on the trail cams, we have some elk. Um, yeah, it's just a nice, cool August day. We've had some days in the like last week where we hit hundreds so I'm hoping that those two days drew in a bowl to the water hole but I don't know we'll have to just go and find out we are working our way up basically the steepest part of this route to the water hole basically how to go over that right there and you just gotta go down get to the water hole now is the time to be quiet it's just that's probably this morning
we made it. That's the water hole. Something's definitely here. They turned all my trail cams. I'm not even sure if I got any good pictures. So you guys can see this one. Dude. So something was messing with this one. Something messed with this one as well. This was supposed to be over here. One down there. Elk track. I move this trail cam a little higher. A lot of times when I have a trail cam in an awkward angle, what I'll do is I'll open my phone and I'll just like literally do this, just hold it against, I'll just take a picture. That way it gives me a general idea of what the camera angle sees. Those are big times though man. Dude, that thing's a freaking giant. Yeah, hope when it gets there, it's on the wall. Dude, we just got a giant bull. We only got one picture though. Right Switching. We only got one picture. Where was he? Standing in the pool? Yep. So I have one trail cam on this little tree right there. And last time, I had a trail cam on this tree right here. But I moved this trail cam down to where my third trail cam was. And we're going to take the third trail cam home because something tore it up. Like, where you strap it around the trail cam, like that plastic piece broke off. So I just switched out some batteries. Okay, just making sure this is the new one. Battery. That goes like that. Turn it on. It's reading. Time to just clip it on. This trail cam right here is looking up right into this puddle right here and what I had last year happen was that big bull that I missed he came and sat right here right down in here but my camera is over there and it couldn't really capture it so my truck my truck cam right there hopefully is gonna capture him staying here and maybe coming up down here and hopefully that trail cam will get basically whatever is hitting up there but we got one giant bull giant giant bull the only downfall is we didn't get all his antlers because the camera angle was kind of low but that one's a little bit higher so all right lots of bears enough elk for me some deer once you have everything set and done last thing you want to do is make sure all your trail cams are turned on Good to go. I'll talk to you guys a little louder when we get out of here. Don't want to be too loud. Dry. Alright. Fine, can talk normal to you guys now. Got tons of... Tons of good pictures. Got... 
just this morning we had a cow elk come hit the water hole but she was she looked like she was on a mission but we got a huge bull the only downfall is my trail cam wasn't set at an angle high enough so i didn't capture like the top of his antlers but right now i am 80 percent sure that that bull is the same bull i missed last year at the water hole but i didn't really get a good look at it because i had to get my trail cams all set up and get out of there because we were getting eaten by, alive by mosquitoes so i'll go home i'll go take a closer look at all the pictures because i do have all the sd cards i just replaced them so we had three trail cams we took one home because that thing is sabotaged by a bear tons of bears a cow two cows three cows maybe two calves um i can't really identify the difference between the cow elk so they could there could be several but the only thing i care about is that bull man but downfall is he only came there once I think it was like july 20 something hopefully september when they start rutting hopefully those cows will draw that bull back in and give me a second chance i don't know if it's the same bull but just the way i saw his antlers where i briefly looked looked like the same bull same same spread pretty much the same exact thing because my bull last year his fronts were really good and in that trail cam picture his fronts were also really good but i just didn't get to see the back because the one i missed last year his back was kind of weak like his g4 g5 and g his g6 was good his g4 was kind of short so i didn't get to see what this guy's g4 g5 and g6 looked like but that for sure is a six point but you guys probably have a better look at those pictures compared to me right now but for now we gotta go Oh. Here's all my extra arrows. <laughs> 